Howdy, y'all. Happy International Pipe Smoking Day. Having a little bit of Carter Hall in my oldest Washington, Missouri Meerschaum corn cob pipe. I just like these little pipes. I tried the other ones, the bigger ones. I like these. This is a special day for me. In addition to being pipe smoking day, it's my one year pipe smoking anniversary. I started really smoking a pipe one year ago today. I can't believe it's been that long. Fact, check out the video I made last year. Happy International Smoke a Pipe Day. Can't hardly believe it. Can't hardly believe it. It's been a year, but where in the world is that guy gone? I don't even know who he is anymore. Been a lot of stuff happened over the last year. A lot of good stuff. Got a bus route I want. Got a bus route I like very much. Found a good hobby. Talking about blacksmithing. I just can't for the life of me just can't get pipe smoking as a hobby, you know. For me, for me. Now if I was the kind of guy that was out spending tons of money on, you know, really rare and really pricey tobaccos and trying all the but I ain't like that. I like my Carter Hall, that's what I like. Mm -hmm. You know, wine drinking can be a hobby, beer drinking can be a hobby if you're doing the right stuff, but for me, calling me calling pipe smoking a hobby for me would be like me saying that I'm a hobby Dr. Pepper drinker. <laughs> Anyhow. Speaking of blacksmithing, Grandma came over today and I was real, real excited to get to show her some stuff. I was afraid the weather wasn't going to work out, wasn't going to cooperate, but it did. I think it's going to start, I think it's going to let out rain in any second here now, but... Uh, my grandfather, who's passed away about two years ago, you know, he's a big influence in my life. He was pretty much my father for a long, forever, for, you know, about as long as I can remember. And, uh, you know, he was real big into the, you know, the history and the, the woodworking, and, you know, he was very interested in blacksmithing. And I think he has a forge, had a forge, and an anvil, and I remember he had the, one of, a set of them great big old bellows, you know. So I, I wish that he could have seen it, but, but Grandma got to see it, and I was real happy about that. I wanted her to forge or something while she was here. I wanted to forge something that she could take home. And pretty much the only thing I've done is those J-hooks, but J-hook has to have holes in it to hang on the wall. And so I got the bright idea, well, well I'll make an S-hook. You know, an S-hook. <laughs> uh, so that she could hang it on something and it wouldn't need holes in it. Well, you know... Now granted, I'm dealing with tools that aren't, you know, I'm trying to use channel locks as tongs, which just don't work real well. I, I can't believe I have lost my pair of vice grips. I don't know where in the world they've gone. Must have gotten left back in Kansas when we moved or something, I don't know. But I don't have vice grips. Trying to use channel locks, that doesn't work real well. Trying to use railroad track, that works okay, but not, not the best. <laughs> but here's a picture of what I made. Now the only important, the, the the important thing, the only important thing is that Grandma loved it. <laughs> I screwed up on it bad, <laughs> but it was my first time I've ever tried that before. So, but uh, practice, practice, practice. Can't wait till I can get that thing set up in here and under you know under the shed. That way I don't have to worry so much about the weather and you know and get it, you know just get get to cranking on that. I just can't wait. Find me a good anvil. Find make me make me or buy me a good pair of tongs. I can't wait. Hope you all are having a good International Pipe Smoking Day, and I hope the rest of the day, your day goes very well, and we'll be talking to you again soon. Yeah, and here's that rain. I hear it starting right now. I hear it. <laughs> tinkle, tinkle, tinkle.
<laughs> well, we'll see you all later. Bye now.